Hello, hello, it's Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie. You are watching an unboxing today. And I received this, as you can see, November 20th. Uh, it is quite past that date now. And by the time this goes up, it'll probably be even further. So um, I have my book ready. I'm not sure who it's from, but it's a couple of boxes. It's pretty big. It's a little damaged here. And the reason I show that and I point it out on video is um, a lot of the time for my insurance purposes for if I need to file a claim or you know a dispute or something, you know, I have it on camera. I have it shown that this is how it arrived. And yeah, let's go. Let's get moving. It's got a rip here in the corner be able to open it pretty easily from the little hole that was provided for me. There we go. Let's get cut the top off completely. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, oh, that's right. There's two, there's two packages. So it's I gotta cut down the middle to separate the two. There we go. So they wrapped them separately and then they wrapped them as one. So here we go, this is what we got. I don't recognize the box. So this may be a new company. There's box one. Yeah, that's, that is a beautiful box. Never seen it before. And box two. Box two is the one that has been, uh, looks like it was dropped on. Well, this one as well. Okay, this has some information on the side. Oh, it explains the size of the diamonds and that it's a full drilling area, resin diamonds, uh, one set canvas, resin diamonds, tools, completion and finished new, need you, need you handmade, frame, no frame. Uh, and then over here it says package list, one paint cloth, painting cloth, one tweezer, one pen, one glue, one bag of resin rhinestones. So let's see what is inside. Okay, we've got two tool kits. It uh, looks like they just put drills in this one. Oh, no, nope, it's a diamond painting too. Okay. This one I've been waiting for. Well, obviously I've been waiting for all of them, but <laughs> this was one that I was excited to get. And let's see if I can find it in my book. I believe I placed it before the 1111 sale, so it should be. Uh, okay, this is from a store that I've been looking to buy from for a long time, but um, I never wanted to pay the price. Uh, this is from a store called Seven Color Sunflower. And I, I just, I debated over buying them and I finally went for it. Um, this here is a 40 by 50, as you can see right there. I paid $20.63 for it. It's a full square. I ordered it October 24th. They shipped it October 25th and then it arrived November 20th. So that's quite a bit of time. Um, 27 days. So about four weeks. So let's uh oh that's not yeah, that's not the canvas at all. <laughs> that's just the drills for one of them. And then they put the tools in that bag as well. So this should have two canvases and then another set of drills. 
So there's the other drills. The canvases have been um, squished here on the end from when the box got dropped or whatever. Hopefully that won't be an issue. And that is all that's in there. Okay, so these are both 40 by 50, but they did one in portrait and one in landscape. So that's why we've got a key here. And on this one, it's a key on this side. So let's go with the first one. Let me show you what it's supposed to look like. This is, I mean, absolutely beautiful, I think. It's like a um, Van Gogh style painting with uh, Winnie the Pooh and friends. So we got Piglet and Rue and then Tigger. I mean, it looks kind of like there's diamonds in the sky or something. I don't know, but it, it's just, I think it's absolutely cool. And <clears throat> let me pull that one out. So I said 2063. Yeah, they're both the same size and I paid the same price for each of them. And they're both full square. All right, let's see what we got. It's almost Tessin's bedtime, so I may have to pause to uh, go let, take layer down. All right. It's all in one large sheet. As you know, if you've watched my other videos, this is what I prefer. It leaves for less um, issues with having the canvas damaged from having uh, overlapping issues with the glue when you have them in strips. You know, this has its own uh, possibilities right here of ripping the paper but that's not problematic in my eyes if that happens so well it's annoying but it doesn't ruin the canvas at least okay the okay these are just rivers they're not bubbled up well that one's a bit bubbled a little bit of a bubble right here and there's a little bit of rivers going on. These are like, these are threatened bubbles, but they're, these over here are just rivers, but there are bubbles up in here. I have such limited space. It's so hard to do these unboxings. All right, so this is the sky area. So there's really not much detail to see, except maybe the sun there. But that's a lot of black. Um, no, it's not black. It is 939, the sky. All those hearts are 939. So, but other than that little bit of bubbling at the top so far, the rest is um, nice and clear. So here is the drill field. Very clear symbols. And maybe I can show you the bubbles. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can even see them. They're so small that they may not be um, problematic to actually, I might be able to actually just lay the drills on top of them because they are so small. They're not big at all. I mean, you can't even see, they're there. There they are right there. Right in the shine, you can see them. Right where the light is glaring, you can see where the bubbles are. They're really small, but they are there. there. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so here's the key. 
nice clear key, nice size. It's not too small. And there's the thumbnail. They've got some of those um, odd symbols going on that really don't need to be there when you can just use letters. I'm not sure how many colors are, but they're not too bad. The symbols aren't too bad on this. All right, so let me cover this up. I'll be able to tell you how many colors are in it when I get to the beads because uh, they are numbered. Just pull off the bottom half to get this flattened out. And I don't even know if I'm going to deduct for that, uh, those bubbles. It just depends on if there's more. If that's all the bubbling there is, then they're gonna get a free pass. <laughs> but generally, if there's bubbles in one spot, it's gonna be in the opposite end as well. At least from what I've seen so far. Yeah, there's little bubbles down here too. Arr. Okay. My daughter, Teslin, is now officially a gamer. She is using the Xbox controller and playing her game that she's been wanting daddy to play. But now she figured out how to use the controllers and she's doing it. So yeah, there's a lot more bubbles on this side than there are on the top. But like I said, they're small enough to where I may not have to cut them. But then again, I might have to. It just depends on when I get to that area. And I will make a note that there are bubbles and be on the lookout for them when I go to drill it. But the sticky is good. I've been having to touch the edge and it, the sticky goes beyond the edge there. So, come on. I just want to pull this down to the point where we can flatten it. Okay. So here, now we can see upside down, but we can see it. We can now see Pooh, Pooh and Tigger. <sighs> there we go. Pooh, Piglet, Roo, and Tigger. So the majority of this painting is sky because there is not very much at all that involves um, the characters themselves. There is some, you know, grassy area on this portion, but there's still the, the blue hearts, the blue color, the 939, the heart symbol is everywhere. There are a, oh my gosh, there's a ton. All right. Oh my gosh, I am having a time, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. And now we have one flat canvas. I, d I ordered these in 20 by 30. I mean... <laughs> 40, 40 by 50 because of that I felt that it needed to be this uh, big enough in order to be able to see the detail of the characters in the painting. And like I said, I've been looking at this company for a long time. And so it took me a long time to actually find something that I was willing to pay $20 for. Because this is a lot for me in my eye to spend on a 40 by 50. So let's set that aside. My microphone will let me. Oh, you should see my craft room now. It's, it's like a pen bomb hit it. There's like pens everywhere. Okay. 
Here we go. Um, nine. Well, I can't even see what. 796, which is another darker blue, has 10 packages. This is a lot of drills. Right. 939 has 71 bags. 71. 939. Wow. 14,000. That is a lot. That's like the majority of this painting. It's just, it's like 939 with a little bit of color thrown in. And there are 38 colors. Wow. All right. So I'm going to start doing inventory and I'll be back with you as soon as I'm done. Well, I'm, I've only got 69, so I'm two bags short. Er, I'm not going to bother calling them on those because uh, I have a lot of 939s. Or wait. Well, I know I have leftover. I, I know I have extras of 939 because uh, I ordered from Amazon... Um, a bunch of colors of the um, primary main colors. Um, you get like a thousand of each of the colors of the 36 different colors. So I'll have enough backup. Um, I'll link that down below. If you aren't aware of the fact that you can buy drills off of Amazon. So they will have a point knocked off for complete drill inventory. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and give this score here. Uh, I've got it covered. Let me see. Oops, that moved the camera. <laughs> Everything's going to fall apart now. It's like, <laughs> it's like Jenga in here right now. Got my cord over here and then I moved my cord and it moved the phone. Anyway, let's see if I can get you straight back up. Ooh, back and forth. Okay. So, uh, canvas condition. Let's see. Canvas gets one and a half because of the bubbles. Clarity of symbols. It gets the full point for that and complete drill inventory. Nope, it gets a point knocked off for that. So it only gets one out of two. Uh, everything being included. Yep, it gets the three points for that. Inside and outside both get their point. I actually prefer it when the paintings come um, rolled around the inside of the box. If it was a, a, a round tube, hint, hint, <laughs> that would be even better because then we wouldn't have anything to worry about as far as knowing that the rolling it caused bubbles. But this is one really close. Oh, these were all, this one was very close to being a perfect canvas as far as what I've been having issues with lately. And so this gets an eight and a half out of 10. Yeah, I had to count. <laughs> and I believe that would be everything for this, this one. So we can move on to the next one. Give me a minute and I will clean this mess up and I'll be back to show you the second one. Alrighty, I am back and shaking the camera. Okay, so let's open up the second one. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, for those of you who aren't up on the more current Disney movies, this movie is called Coco and it's a really good movie. And that's what this one is from. And 
I won't give anything away as to who is in the picture, but these are the main characters. And Teslin loves this movie. And she doesn't know I ordered this, but she would be thrilled if she saw this. So maybe one day I'll actually get to do it. I'm excited to look at this one because it's got um, the pinks and purples in here. And I can't wait to see how this one turns out. So let's open it up and see what we got. I got paper bent the wrong way in here. It was my Winnie the Pooh. All right. So here is the the key. Um, can't see the symbols, so I'll have to show them to you when I pull the. And this will be a landscape. So we're gonna see the right side of it first. This one um, didn't doesn't look as damaged as the first one did, with the um, edges being squished. Maybe that's a good sign. All right, and this one does have three tens. So the heart symbol on this one is black. Don't rip, there we go. All right, yep, it's got bubbles. It's. It seems that these the bubbles, when I get them on canvases that look like they're gonna be perfect, they're only on the ends. So I don't know what, what causes it. See down here, there's none. Well, you can actually see it in the camera. Right here, the bubble there. And there's one right there. Yep, that's definitely raised. And this one is raised. There's more in here too, bumps. So let's just look at the... I don't like it when I pull it back and it wrinkles the cover, but that's a sacrifice I have to make for making sure the sticky part doesn't get damaged. Yep, there's a lot more bubbles right in here. But like the first one, they're almost to the point where they're not raised, so they're very slight. But yeah, you can, <laughs> it's funny, you can see them in the video too on the screen right in there. See how they go across. So there's quite a few bubbles on this one. Yep, you can see the ones in here too. This is a, these are very confettied and I kind of expected that because it is a Van Gogh style. And Van Gogh is very, very confetti central. All right, so let me try and pull this back in one shot. All right, and it looks good. I mean, there's no bubbles or anything towards the middle. Oh man, except we've got a huge pucker right there. Oh, you can see it. There, you can see it like that. See that flat part, but the canvas itself dips down. Oh, that's bad. I should have looked on the back. First. Yep, you can see it. If you see something like this on the back of your canvas, like this, you've got a pucker. It looks like there might be a little one right over here too. <clears throat> I was so hopeful. And puckers are the hardest thing to get the, the seller to replace a canvas for. So I'm going to have to try and figure something out. Because it's apparently just the one. And it took so long for these to get here. And I waited a long time to order them. You know, so we're talking quite a bit of time waiting on this and for it to, oops. All right, so. Yep, 
here's where the pucker is right here. And the only way I can think to fix something like this is stretching it, but it's just impossible to do by myself for one thing. But it's, it doesn't, see, because if, if your canvas is bent, you can get it to lay down in there. Oh, that's not a good idea. Okay, but as soon as you flatten your canvas again, it pops right back up. Because the glue is flat, but the canvas is not. And there's a lot more rivers and buckle, uh, bubbles going on over here. Yeah, there's that other one that I said looked like it was going to be a pucker. It is. It's a really tiny one right here. Can't, probably can't even see it, but I could see it from the back side. So well, let's at least look at the clarity of symbols. Very clear. You know, I, I don't know what I've gotten myself into now that I'm looking at this because this is such confetti. So confetti. And I prefer big big squares of, of the same color. So this is... You get more, I think, of a satisfaction of seeing it come together, though, when you have something confetti like this because it doesn't look like anything when you're throwing on all these colors until you take a step back and look at it and say, wow, that's actually a picture. So they've got some pretty, um, you know, they've got the pie symbol and a wonky triangle going on. But, and then like a sideways six. See, it looks like a nine right now. It's sideways though, so. I don't get it. Why they use a symbol like that. Luckily, I don't think they have numbers. But I'm going to have to take pictures of this one and see what I can do. I mean, this is a new company for me, so I'm going to have to take off one and a half points, a half point for the bubbles and a point for the, for the bubble, for the uh, pucker. It gets one half point for the actually... Um, parts that were clear, which was about half of it. All right. So let me show you the key. Pull this back a little bit. Got a hair in there. Hair. Ah, okay. So here's the key and the different symbols that they use. Uh, it's a little different than the first one. I don't remember seeing some of these on the first one. It doesn't look like they used any numbers at all, just letters and symbols. Well, unless you want to count that sideways nine or six. Well, now that's not right. 3033 is a sideways nine or a six, and 3827 is a six. The only number they used in the entire... Oh, no, there's a four, too, as well. Four and six. But why would they put a sideways six... And then go and use just two numbers out of all of these symbols and let stuff. And it would be one that they, that could easily be misconstrued if you have your canvas turned the opposite direction. It, it happens. I've known people <laughs> who are, have their canvas the wrong direction. And they're saying, I don't see this symbol anywhere. And it's because they had it sideways. Okay, there's a, I, I, there's a lot of air bubbles under here because I put it down really fast. But All right, so if it was you, would you contact the seller on this one? Or would you just try to fix that big uh, pucker? Because, I mean... <laughs> I'm getting to the point where I think 
I'm, I'm getting, I've seen some people talking in the group and they've said something about if you complain too much or if you file issues, file disputes too much, they can ban you. I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, or if anyone can clarify <laughs> what they meant by that, because I don't, I've only had to file a couple of disputes and twice, well, a few times, twice it was because the seller actually told me to file the dispute because they weren't going to be able to replace something like i have some pins that i ordered over two months ago and they've still not arrived um and the seller extended the the time for it to get here and then I'm like, and he's like oh don't worry it'll be there soon i'm like i hope so it's been two months already and then he told me to file a dispute because and i'm like well if you don't think it's going to arrive, then I guess I will. <laughs> but it was a really good deal on these pins. And it really is upsetting because of the fact that everywhere else, they were quite a bit more expensive. So it's just, <sighs> I don't know if he purposely, you know, did that and they, he never really sent it. And then had me file the dispute to make it look bad on me. See, that's what I don't know is do we build a reputation for filing disputes or not? I don't know, but this is bugging me. So I'm going to stop doing it. You can see just from the edge without it being the cover taken off. You can see right there where the, where that pucker is. It's left a, a big uh, gape gap right there. Yeah, it's not pretty. All right, so I'm going to set this to the side so that I can deal with that after this is done. Let's look at the drills. The one thing I did notice about the drills on the last one, they have the holographic or shiny numbers on the bags and they're the good newer bags. So that's a good thing on this company. Uh, although I was missing drills from that last batch, you know, I'm, I'm starting to wonder why I paid so much for these paintings from this company if they are really, you know, lackadaisical when it comes to um, their inventory. Um, laying their canvas. Uh, so we'll see what this one comes out. I've got 27 bags of 310, 12 bags of 413, 19 bags of 823, which is a dark blue. And 312 has 12 bags as well. So I'm going to give this a count and I will be right back. All right, everything is here. Um, I got one extra bag of one color. Um, but the odd thing was like 823, it was in three different sections. So at first I didn't know I had them all. I had to wait till the end to find out. <coughs> now my battery is running low. So my flash turned off. So I don't have that extra light. Let's um, do the score on this real quick. So I can let you go before my camera completely completes on me. All right, let's see. Canvas condition gets a 0.5 out of 2. The clarity is 1 out of 1. Um, everything being there is 3 out of 3. And the drill condition, drill, complete drill inventory. I did it backwards, but um, drill inventory. 
yeah, DMC color, so it gets the two points for that. Uh, yeah, I wasn't missing anything. I thought I was, but I wasn't. And outside and inside, they both get the single point for that. So we have a total of three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half out of ten. So that's a barely a high a score to recommend the company just on my first impression um, I'm also going to base it on you know the final um, the lasting impression will be based on other things like communication with the store which I'm gonna have to do because um, that you know I don't know. I just don't feel like I should have to try and fix something that I paid a lot of money in my eyes for. $20 is a lot for this canvas. And I, you know, that's only half of it. You know, I would like to have one that is actually workable. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to contact the seller. And I, I mean, in your opinion, would you do it? I, I'm going to, but I'm still kind of Eh, iffy if I should but um, yeah tell me what you think I do have a question of the day I cleaned up a little bit so things are moved around a little bit and I'm going to ask uh, okay what do you think is the greatest invention of all time I am gonna say the television I mean sure there's a lot of things like medicine and um, incubators that those that invention saved my daughter's life so I, I could very well say you know there are so many things you know but the television eh, you know I don't know without the television YouTube wouldn't be around because that's how it came about but the telephone is just it's just amazes me how you can pick up an inanimate object put it to your ear and hear somebody from across the the planet you know in your ear just it's it just amazes me it's just an amazing invention but the um they call them isolettes now but the incubator where Tesla lived for the majority of her 93 days in the hospital when she was first born helped to regulate her temperature so that she was able to survive in the outside world. When she was supposed to still be in the womb, she was in this womb-like environment, keeping her alive and keeping her body temperate. Anyway, it's a miracle. It's a miracle, um, those things, how they help a baby to develop and stay uh, alive while they're trying to catch up to the age that they were supposed to be in when they were born, you know, but yeah, medicines and all, there's so many inventions, but you know, I applaud the telephone highly. So what is the answer for you on what you think that the most, what did I say? <laughs> the greatest invention of all time is if you could leave your answer down below in the comment section, and on your way down, don't forget to click that like button. I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget, have fun diamond painting and sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Bye guys.